Wix Studio, one end-to-end -end web creation platform for your agency to deliver exceptional work with absolute efficiency. The number one long form writer that helps SEOs outrank competition at the click of a button using real time research and NLP. Start ranking content today with contentatscale.ai. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us this morning for this little talk. Thank you, Becky, for the wonderful, wonderful opening. Wow, my clicker. I knew I'm going to forget something. Good. Who am I? You already heard a lot about me. But things that Becky couldn't tell you because she doesn't know is that I'm from Slovakia. I live in Malta. I live there because there is the iGaming, because Malta was the first one to give the gaming license away. So a lot of us moved there. And I am a really enthusiastic cat person. I have six cats on my own. And because I live in Malta, we have got lots of cats everywhere, so I have a colony of cats outside around 30. So if you forget my name, which is, by the way, very easy to remember, it's like Ivana Trump. I'm just alive, right? But if you forget it, call me the crazy cat lady. I will know it's me. So, all good. We're going to talk about brand. Why is brand important? What is brand? And what do we do with it? Now, shout at me, any brands, just like wake up morning exercise, any brands, please. I give you first one, Brighton SEO. Next one. Google. Google, fantastic. Exactly, all of these are brands, and you know them. And why? Because we work to create brand. We work to create brand awareness and we create amazing marketing strategy to make you think of our brand. I listed a few more brands because I want to go through things like branded keywords, semi-branded keywords and generic keywords just to paint the whole picture for you. So these are branded keywords. And why are they important? Every company spends tons of money on radio, TV, print, Sometimes you see things on buses, right? Social media, if you are the younger generation. And we create what you're very familiar with, search volume. This is data from Ahrefs, the global search. M stands for millions. So all these people have done an amazing job creating their brand awareness. And you need to score for it on position one as an SEO to bring all that loot home. Now we're going to talk about the semi-branded keywords. As you know, semi-branded keywords are your brand plus something. Amazon shopping, who doesn't know Amazon? AliExpress online, Uber, taxi. These are as well very important because they still carry a lot of that search volume. It's a little bit diluted, but it answers better the user intent. So I used few here, Betson Casino. Any of you out of gaming here? Please. Thank you, thank you. It's in my head when I was playing it, I was like, there's gonna be so many people from gambling. Okay, no, good, but it's a great niche. And then we have got the generic keywords. So obviously the shopping, taxi, and casino. They are much more difficult to score for, but they are very important. And what they need to do for us is, okay, branded keywords, benefits of branded keywords. Um, on my other slides, okay. So why are branded keywords so important? Our CPA is low because you own the brand, Someone already created all this search volume for you, and you just need to score for it. Okay, it's still an SEO task to score for it, but if you score for it, your cost per acquisition is going to be lower. Now, SEO is not really thought of as a retention channel, but yes, we bring on-branded keywords and semi-branded keywords acquisition, so the new players, and retention, we, we, we retain people because and it's a rule of thumb, at least in my niche, that around 60% of people coming from SEO on brand are retention. So it's very important to keep that in mind. And as well, it's easier to score for. You own the brand, you usually have that in your URL, your brand, so it's easier to score for, right? You can guess what my 75 there. Any guesses? Again, a rule of thumb, take it with a grain of salt, it's not always, it goes from niche to niche, but 75% clicks are coming to your website from branded and semi-branded keywords. So you as an SEO, you cannot afford to miss out on that, okay? You need to occupy your top positions. And generic keywords, what do they do for us? 
they bring new customers. By new customers, I do not mean a new acquisition. Obviously, they are acquisitions. But by new customers, I mean people that don't know your brand. Maybe they didn't see that advert, maybe they didn't take that bus, and they are still looking for casino online or winter boots. And this way you bring people that would not know about your brand, but still look for your product. So they bring a new blood. If they search for you, any of these keywords, and they actually convert, they search, they put their thoughts into it, they put uh, actual work into typing that into the search, usually they are a very good value of customers. So the lifetime value of customers through generic keywords in SEO is amazing. And obviously it is an acquisition, not an retention channel. And here, what do they need to do for us? They need to answer our user intent, right? We all know about that, what is user intent and how we work with it. But that's exactly where generic step in, even for the branded keywords, when you pair it with generic and create a semi-branded keyword, it is to answer user's intent. And you should score for money keywords, so the very difficult ones such as casino, sports betting, shoes, whatever have you, uh, because they bring actually the best acquisitions and the money to the company. Again, it's going to be different from niche to niche, market to market, but for me, for example, coming from online gambling, my biggest keyword in Sweden is casino. It's not online casino, it's casino. So we're all fighting over that keyword, and for a very long time I was positioned one, two, and three for it with all our websites. And that was where the money was coming from. So it's not online casino, it would be casino, casino online, and online casino, how people convert. And then you want the long tail keywords, because maybe you want to buy new boots for winter cheap, and you want to make sure that your generics are covering this. And your job as an SEO is to score for both. Obviously, have a strategy to cover the brand, semi-branded first, but you are an expert, and you know the strategy, and you should score for the non-branded ones. Now, little exercise again. What is brand? Anyone can tell me what is this big M here? Come on, work with me, people. Thank you, and more for the ladies. This rouge is here. Which brand is that? And why did you know it? It's not written there. Because brand is more than just the name, right? It goes to logos. Have a recognizable logo. Do, do you know these logos? I mean, how many of you don't know the logos here? Please don't raise your hand. I bet that you do. So you have a good logo, you have got a good brand name, and then you have what? A recognizable product. What do you want to drink right now if you see this? Coffee. Exactly. I'm not even a coffee drinker, and I know it. This little mermaid brings me coffee. And then a catchphrase. Just do it. We already had that brand here, so anyone? Just say it. No, no, Thank you. But catchphrase can go both ways. Branding is an art on its own. I'm going to tell you a story, real one, sadly, about a bad catchphrase. I'm not gonna mention the name of the brand because it's a little bit embarrassing, but it's coming from the casino niche, and this casino created an amazing mobile product, like really good mobile product on casino. It was faster, it was easy to play, it was really user-friendly, and they wanted to advertise it, and they came up with a phrase, one hand is enough. Like, I don't know how about you, but if I hear one hand is enough, I don't think of casino, okay? Like, maybe I have dirty mind, but it's, it's not it, right? So be careful because it can go both ways. Now you have your amazing product that people know. They know it's a coffee. They know your brand. They know the name and they know your logo. So you need to promote it, right? Because if you have all of these and you don't do your marketing, nothing's gonna happen. Have a killer SEO and marketing strategy. Obviously, this conference is about marketing strategy, content strategy, and SEO. So I'm just brushing up on brand. We have got amazing speakers here covering all of this today in all of the auditoriums. There'll be things like TikTok SEO. There is a how to build a website with AI. So please go there and educate yourself on these things because these people always know one more thing that po I probably don't, so I'll be listening. And now you have it. You already shouted out loud. Everybody know your brand. And what is human nature? We're gonna leech off that. We're gonna steal that. We're gonna make money of you. 
it is normal. So you need to protect yourself. You need to protect that brand, that brand awareness that you build up. And how do you do that? We have a few steps. First one, and it's always the first one, is legal steps. I am not a lawyer, so I'm just gonna say, work with your legal department. Funny story, it's from my work. We very recently launched a brand in Denmark called Get Lucky. I know we are, come on, get lucky. I know what you're thinking, I've been there too. But get lucky, and we go to Denmark market. And I do all my work, so we're scoring position one for branded and semi-branded, and we're blocking the Serbs as much as we can. But position five, there is getlucky.nu, which is a porn site. So I call my legal and saying, oops, like oopsie, I know we don't want to be like really um, sort of like known for this, so please can you take it down? And my legal department says, okay, we have the copyrights, we can take it down, we're gonna work on that. It is not your job to send a letter of cease, but working with legal is your job. And why? Because you as an SEO are gonna be the first one to see someone is cyber squatting or someone is using your content. So be in touch with your departments. PPC and SEO. PPC is a fantastic tool to protect your brand. I always say that PPC is a small brother of SEO, not a big enemy. And if you do it correctly, you'll be working together in balance and you'll protect your brand better. Again, funny story. So in my work, we do a lot of PPC. Our, one of our biggest markets is Sweden, and I told you that like casino in Sweden is huge. And we build up all of the brand awareness. We spend lots and lots and lots of money. Recently, we rebranded our main brand, Come On, and so we were on buses, TV, you name it, we were there, social media everywhere. And of course our competitors know this, so they beat on us. And in Sweden it's absolutely okay to beat on your competitors' keywords, which creates a massive bidding war, right? Our CPA on branded is usually higher than on generics, which is absolutely crazy, but that's the nature of Swedish market. And you cannot anyhow change it because the gentleman agreement does not work. And it brings still enough money that even this massive CPA for competitors and a very small conversion on our brand is worth it. But I have an amazing PPC counterpart called Alina, and we worked together and she was like, look, our brand called Hyper is protected to 45%. So 45% time someone searches, we go for position one for hyper, hyper casino, hyper betting, whatever. I wanna increase that because there's not enough. We see in our tools it's not enough. So we worked together to see what's the sweet spot. She went all the way to 95, SEO, <laughs> We were gone. And I told her, Alina, like, no. And we dialed down, but we did it together, and we found a sweet spot, and now we protect it, and now SEO does not suffer. So work with your PPC people. And as an SEO, as I said, your job is to be position one. And now there are a few tactics how to block the SERPs, and how to make sure that your competitors, especially the ones that can send you traffic, are not scoring on your branded keywords, and are not visible in top 10. Again, you will be working with other departments such as PR or CRO or, I don't know, human resources. Wikipedia, it's for free. You can create a profile about your brand on Wikipedia. It has got LRT of 100, it scores easily. So make sure you have Wikipedia pages up. For us, this will be a PR department. Apps, you know, like you are not an app person, you're not gonna do this, but you can work with your app team to make sure that your brand is scoring in SERPs with your apps. Trustpilot, you have an amazing product that we just built. You have a strategy. Make sure you shout out in Trustpilot, it scores in SERPs for your brand. And none of these are your competitors. They work with you, not against you. Just like YouTube, you know, like in Google, you have got all of these pictures and SERP features. One of them is video. Use it. And profiles such as company profiles, so LinkedIn or the HR one, or actual company websites, make sure they are crawlable and they are optimized. This is my company and when I came, this one was not working, oh sorry, <coughs> this one was not working because we stopped crawlers. It is your job to help them. Social media, look I'm not huge on social media, but you have a new generation, they can help you with that. Utilize all your SERP features, right? 
there is so much you can use for any brand, not just your main company brand. Big uh, magazines can easily write about you. There's so many things companies do, sponsoring Pride, for example. You can make sure that you are written in magazines. You can work with PR, but as an SEO, you have got these contacts, come on. We all know. Then you can go, obviously, to the parasitic SEO, if that's your thing, and now if that's your conscious. And brand protection websites. This is one of the things that no one else is going to help you. There is no social media to help you. There is no HR. This is your work. What are brand protection sites? There are websites containing your branding name and something else. So come on casino, come on reviews, come on sportsbook. We would upload our data on it, make sure that we have got enough of strategy to be in top 10, and block the search that way. And now we will look at few people that are doing it correctly and incorrectly. Amazon is killing this. I know this looks like lots of data, but just concentrate on it that is in green, right? What are they using? They have got Amazon websites, they have got Twitter account, Wikipedia, as I mentioned, they've got Apple, so the you know, Apple stores, the app stores. Then they've got company websites on position six and 10, so about Amazon, YouTube, Facebook, and a huge article in Independent. Easy, they didn't have to pay for most of this, obviously for their uh, company websites, they had to, but for Facebook, you can have a free account. For Independent, you don't really have to pay if you have a good niche to, to talk about and you don't have to really pay for Wikipedia. Now, Betson is one of our biggest competitors, and it's a lovely brand, and I used to work with them, and they are the biggest one in Sweden. That's why I'm using the Swedish market and Betson as an example. They are a mammoth in my niche, and they are doing this really well. So they have got, you can see here, this is their main website. So if you want to play, this is the one they try to score for, and buggers, they are position two for casino today. And this is a brand protection site. So Betson Casino SE is brand protection site. And they do it very well for all their brands. They have tons of brands. Then there's a Betson um, company site. Then it's Apple Store. Great is not great for them because great is a competitor and that's an affiliate website. And as an SEO, especially on brand, your CPA is super low. We're talking anything 10 euro, maybe. An affiliate, we're talking maybe 500 euro. So it's a massive, massive difference. And in iGaming, we pay a lot to affiliation. And I'm not saying don't work with affiliates. Work with affiliates. You need them. But they shouldn't be scoring for your branded keyword. Then there are trading forums. They are publicly traded company. They are in yellow because that's not SEO work. It's just they are there. And then they've got company profiles. And who is doing it really badly? It's good lucky. It's my brand. And this is Norway. So you can see Norway. We're scoring for brand. Get Lucky Casino, that's our brand protection website, we're scoring. And then is affiliation. I would like to say that I have a good explanation for this, but it's basically, I don't. I basically failed. <laughs> and I'll take learning from this. And now what you do, how you go about protecting your brand. First of all, check your inventory. Are you scoring for your branded and semi-branded keywords? Are you? If not, check your strategy. Do you have all the accounts that we just mentioned? If not, get creative, start to do them. Work with people in your company. Make sure that you are protecting your brand. So get published your articles about your company, right? I mean, as we said, easy. Create a killer marketing and SEO strategy. I know I'm repeating myself, but this is your bread and butter. If you don't have this in place, no matter how many brand protection websites you build, you're not gonna score. And then one of the most important things, please monitor your results. Don't just create something and let it sit there. First of all, you want to make sure that you're doing well, that you've done something. And second of all, people that invest money in it, so your C-level, they will want to know what you're doing. Like, okay, you build 10 protection websites. What's happening? We're building this much and putting this much money in it. Is it bringing it anything? So please make sure that you are measuring everything. And there will be amazing speeches about measuring things here. There are a lot of tools that can help you with it. So please, go to the speeches and talk to the speakers. And that's all from me. So if you have any questions, if not, I'll just applause, please. <laughs> Thank you. Monthly reporting, making you want to shove sharp things up your nose? 
try Dragon Metrics, the all-in-one SEO software with mind-blowing reporting tools.